We have breaking news on vaccines from overseas. Research from the University of Oxford in England out this morning has new data regarding those rare cases of blood clotting in COVID patients and vaccine recipients. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus joins us. David, good morning. Uh, we need to point out that this study has not yet been peer reviewed, but what do you make of it? So this is a study where they pulled data from large numbers of hospitals, predominantly in the United States. And the most, uh, I think, important finding is, is that this particular blood clot in the brain called cerebral venous thrombosis happens 10 times more common in people with the viral infection than with vaccines. And this was very important. So people with the virus have a much higher incidence of this particular kind of rare blood clot in the brain. But David, the study also shows that Moderna and Pfizer vaccines have a similar rate of blood clots uh, as uh, to AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson. So what does that mean? Yeah, what we're seeing is, is that this is an effect of all of the vaccines, is that about a, a tenth is common. In this study, there were two in 500,000 people with the Moderna and the Pfizer, so a rate of four per million, so actually more than the Johnson & Johnson but dramatically lower than if you had the virus. And it's an important observation, and I think it's gonna change now because we're gonna be able to prevent these and treat these early as we develop strategies. Yeah, but how should the government respond in this case, David? They've paused the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Is that something they need to consider with the other vaccines? Yeah, no, Anthony, that's a critical point. As my gut is that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will be uh, continue to be administered after the committee meets again in a week. The advisory committee met yesterday and said they'll make a decision in seven to ten days. And my gut is we're going to get back on the vaccine uh, train here and vaccinate people to prevent the horrible complications from the virus. I think this is more evidence of the vaccine helping people in a dramatic way from the ravages of COVID-19. The headline again, David, as you said, is that you're more likely to get blood clots from the COVID virus significantly more than you would from any vaccine. David, Dr. David Agus, thank you very much. Yeah, but it is confusing. Yes. <laughs>